Okay, so from uh, the previous lesson, uh, we went through the coordinates, uh, the method of finding the coordinates of individual points. Um, we call that the forward direction given a bearing and a distance and a starting coordinate. We can find the coordinates of, of other points in the traverse or of other points on the property boundary. Um, and we went through and the last thing we ended up with was uh, finding the coordinate of point D. 5232609 Okay, the next um, thing, or sometimes the same uh, same process only backwards, is to find the inverse. And this is actually a much more common and a much more useful, more practical uh, kind of an application. A lot of times um, you will be given a coordinate of a point out on a job site or perhaps of a boundary. Um, you'll be given the two coordinates uh, of actually two points. And your job is to find the bearing and the distance between them. Okay, so here we're given the coordinates and we're finding the bearing and the distance between them. In this case, we were given the bearing and the distance, we were finding the coordinates. Uh, but this is a much more practical, um, you know, uh, useful task to be able to do, particularly longhand um, on a job site. Um, so we have these two coordinates. Now, just for um, for now, let's take a look at it. That's the point B is less north than point D. So if we kind of make just a kind of a rough sketch, just to give us an idea uh, of general directions um, that we're going. And a lot of times, I'll just simply pick uh, pick a point. So here we're just going to put D sort of at the beginning of the of the axes. And we said that B is going to be less north. It's hundreds of feet south of. And as I take a look at it, we can see that it's going to be hundreds of feet east of. So if I were going from D to B, I would have to go south and I would have to go east to get there. So literally what we are trying to find is this vector or this line. And again, I'm going to emphasize the fact that this is our bearing angle. Bearings are always measured from the north or from the south to the line in question. This is the change in northing. This is how much we differ in north and this is how much we differ in east and we can then use opposite over adjacent we can use the tangent function and we can use Pythagorean theorem by squaring and squaring and taking the square root to come up with the uh, distance between those two points so let's go ahead and do that so uh, the change in north is going to be 5232609 Subtract 4731884. Well, George hit the right buttons. 5232609 minus 4731884. Now, that means that this is 500 feet. And we can go ahead and put the negative in. I usually don't worry about it now, but uh, for emphasis, I am going to put it in right at this point. So we're going to go south 500.725. And then our change in easting um, So if I do my math correctly, is to say then that 
we're going to go south 500 and we're going to go east 414 to um, to get there now some might like to see that in picture form so we can then find simply the distance between uh, D to B by simply squaring that uh, squaring those components Now, some of you are going to say, George, that's a negative, and indeed that is. Um, I will tell you that on most calculators, that if you take uh, a negative and square it, it will give you a negative value. Try that on your calculator. Take a negative 500, 725, and hit the square button, and almost every calculator that I know will give you a negative value here, even though we know that's not correct. 500 negative a negative number times a negative number is going to be a positive number so I usually don't worry about this uh, or put it in there but you can if you insist if you're kind of in that mode where you've got to do things as you see them I would encourage you to put it into a parenthesis or buy a good calculator like this one cost six bucks on Amazon So our distance then is uh, 650 263. So um, that becomes our distance. That's usually the easy part. Most people get that. The bearing angle is going to be the change in easting over the change in northing. Literally opposite over adjacent. Again, we're looking for this angle. So we have opposite over adjacent. That's going to be the uh, tangent function. Let me clean that up. Apologize. That is going to be the uh, inverse tangent function. and convert it into angular form so we have 414869 divide 500 725 and that's going to be in decimal degrees you're always going to need to convert this for bearings, everything I've ever done with property and bearings are always in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So you have to be able to convert or to change it into uh, an degrees, minutes, and seconds. I know that looks like a degree. This is a $6 calculator and it just doesn't come up different. But other than that, it's a fantastic machine. So this is 39 degrees, 38 minutes, and 35 seconds. <clears throat> thirty nine degrees thirty eight minutes thirty five seconds and we kinda have to f manually insert the letters so to go from D to B we're going south and east so the answer is south thirty nine degrees thirty eight minutes thirty five seconds east six hundred and fifty 263 feet. And that's the answer. Okay, let me put one here. You try it, I'll go through it. Um,
So let's, uh, I'll pause the video. Uh, those are the two numbers. We'll call this A and that B. And I want you to inverse. From A to B, tell me the bearing and the distance. Again, we're going from A to B. Okay, so I've taken a little bit of time uh, and computed the delta north and the delta east. I found the difference in the northings, the difference in the eastings. Um, actually plotted it out, so to go from A to B, I have to go from 17 to 19, so that's going north. I'm going from 2600 down to 1000, so that's going in the left or west direction, negative east and um, found the distance by squaring those two values and taking the square root and then to find the bearing I'm going to take the inverse or the arc tangent of opposite over adjacent or the delta east over the delta northing and I come up with the bearing angle um, and then as a final step I have to simply look at it I have to go from A to B I'm going north and I'm going west and that then that then is the answer for the bearing and distance or the inverse from A to B